Hi, everyone. Uh, some people had said that they were struggling with setting up some of these problems for homework tonight, so I thought I would try to help you out just a tad. I'm not going to do it all for you, but uh, I can hopefully point you in the right direction. So in problem number six, uh, here's what your chart should look like. So if you think that that's enough of a help, you can pause the video, try to fill it in, and see where you get. Um, if you need more help than that, I'm going to continue trying to fill it in, and, and you can do it with me, or you can pause and, and do it in here in a minute. So it says a candy store wants to create a mix using two hard candies. One is priced at $5.45 per pound, and the other is priced at $7.33 per pound. How many pounds of the 733 candy should be mixed with 11 pounds of the 545 candy to sell the mixture for 614 per pound? So since they give us all three prices per pound, let's just start by filling that in. So we've got one type of candy, we'll call that candy A, and that's going to be at 545 per pound. I'm doing this on my home computer without my tablet to write on, so forgive my handwriting. And we've got another one at $7.33 per pound. And finally, our mixture is going to sell for $6.14 per pound. Okay, so now let's talk about the pounds. It says how many pounds, how many pounds of the 733 candy? Well, that means we don't know how many pounds of the 733 candy. So that's going to be our variable X but we're mixing it with 11 pounds of the 545 candy. So that's gonna be 11 pounds. So if we have 11 pounds of candy A and X pounds of candy B, that means we have 11 plus X pounds of the mixture, or X plus 11. Well then, the weighted average part of this is that we're gonna take the number of pounds we have, the quantity, times the price per pound, and that will equal a total price. So our total price of candy A will be four or 545 times 11. I'll let you do the math. Our total price of candy B will be X times 733, so that'll be 733X. And then our total price of the mixture would be $6.14 times 11 plus X. And again, I'll let you do the math. And then when it goes to setting up your equation, you're pretty much just using this last column here, and you'll say, well, the total price of candy A plus, that's plus sign, plus the total price for candy B has to equal the total price of the mixture. So I'm gonna let you set up the equation and solve it and we'll go over it tomorrow in class. So again, pause this if you need to get caught up, but I'm gonna move on to the next question. In problem seven, it says, Party Supplies Inc. sells metallic balloons for $2 each and helium balloons for $3.50 per bunch. Yesterday, they sold 36 more metallic balloons than the number of bunches of helium balloons. The total sales for both types of balloons were 281. Let B represent the number of metallic balloons sold. Okay, so they're telling you right here that B is the number of metallic balloons sold. They also told you that they sold 36 more metallic balloons than helium balloons. So we would take the metallic balloons and subtract 36 to get the number of helium balloons. Okay, let's fill in our price now. Metallic balloons are $2 each. Helium balloons are 350 per bunch. So that's 350. Okay, so then again, you're going to multiply the number of balloons times the price to equal the total price. So I'm going to let you fill that in and see if you can answer the rest of the questions if the total sales for both types was $281. So try that one on your own and then make sure you answer the rest of the questions. All right, for problem eight, we spent $4.57 
on color and black and white copies for our project. So that's a total. That's a total that we spent was $4.57. She made seven more black and white copies than color copies. So we don't know how many color copies she made, but we know she made seven more black and white copies. So that would be X plus seven. So our total, what do you think our total would be? Well, we're gonna add our color plus our black and white. So it's gonna be X plus X plus seven. Okay. The price per page we get from our table up here. So color copies is 0.44. Black and white copies are 0 0.07. We don't really need to worry about the price per page here. That's not so much of an issue. So again, we're gonna take the number of copies times the price per page, and that has to equal the total price. I'll let you fill that in. Then we're gonna take our total price of color copies plus our total cost of black and white copies, and that has to equal $4.57. So I'll let you do the rest of that, but that should help you get it set up. Problem nine, we've got a 20, 20 gallon saltwater fish tank that we're setting up. So our mixture or our total that we're coming up with is 20 gallons and it needs to have a salt content of three and a half percent. So that would be 0 0.035. Well, she has water that has a two and a half percent salt water, and she has water that's 3.7 percent salt water. How many gallons of the water with 3.7 percent salt content should Rosa Maria use? Well, so that's the one we're looking for. We're going to call that X. Well, if she has 20 total gallons and X of them are the 3.7 percent, how many or how can we represent how many gallons she has of this water? Well, we would take our total minus X, okay? Then again, I'm gonna leave this up to you. Multiply the first column by the second column to equal the third column. And then once you've got that done, we're gonna take our first box plus our second box to equal our third box. And then number 10, I'm going to leave you with the chart, but I'm going to have you try to fill it all in and see if you can come up with the equation. And same with 15. So there's the chart for it, but I'm going to let you try to fill it out. So I've really helped you set up, what, I think four out of the six problems. You try to set up these two on your own. And we will definitely go over these in class tomorrow and have a good night.